Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Today we're going to look at the Illusionist deck, the 1800s, the Marked Edition. Now previously I had done uh, a review for this uh, distressed deck, uh, the 1800s. I had done it a long time ago. It's one of the first uh, deck reviews I've ever done. Uh, I mean, if you want to see the full review uh, for this deck, you can click the link below in the description. Uh, in that review, I reviewed the red Distress deck, and so I figured in this one I would do the blue. Um, these are reprints. This is a full reprint of the 1800 deck that Illusionist had already done, but this time the difference is they're marked. They are marked backs. Um, in fact, if you buy this uh, deck from Illusionist.com, it's going to come with a web address that includes a personal tutorial from Daniel Madison about how to read and use this deck. And so uh, that's pretty cool, and it's a really cool video, and Daniel does a great job uh, going over some of the finer uh, details of this deck. Uh, the tuck case on this just says Bicycle Series 1800s and Playing Cards. Uh, the side says Perform Ace Coating. Uh, there's a typo there that are missing their end, and Made in the USA. The other side says Illusionist Playing Card Company, and the bottom has some ad copy about Illusionist itself. Um, it is made to look just like a Riderback 808 deck, except it's made to look as though it's been sitting out in the sun, gotten wet, and then sat out in the sun again, and then thrown into the desert, and then left there to die. And basically, uh, it's really just a really beautiful deck. If you've ever uh, seen this deck, you're going to agree with me. Um, it's, it's probably one of my favorite decks from the United States Playing Card Company and Illusionist uh, teaming up together. Uh, it, it's really cool. And I think it kind of even breaks the, uh, the old adage, the old rule, that um, the United States Playing Card Company wasn't allowing deck designers to mess with their writer back. Um, it, it was uh, said that you know they were kind of pulling the reins back on, on that. And so this is kind of a, a surprise to some of us to see that Bicycle has actually allowed someone to kind of uh, tweak their uh, copywritten back design again. And so that's cool. Maybe that means there'll be new uh, things coming out in the future. Well, that's pretty much it for this tech case. Let's take a look at the cards. Like I said, the cards are printed by the United States Playing Card Company. They do come on a thick casino stock. Uh, these cards do have a modern cut and an air cushion embossing. And if you'd like to learn more about cut, stock, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back design, of course, is going to be your standard 808 rider back, uh, except for the fact that it's been uh, given this kind of yellowing uh, wash to make it look like it's old, and then the back has been distressed and broken to make it look like it's a deck that's been sitting out in the sun and uh, just for a really long time. Uh, a couple of uh, magicians have used this deck actually on television, and uh, you're gonna you see it a lot, I think, in. Um, mainstream media and so this is uh, this is where you get it if you want to know where you get the distressed 1800s deck you get it from illusionist.com with this deck you're going to get a couple of things of course you're going to get your standard 808 uh, ace of spades uh, nothing special there other than the fact of the distressing that's been added uh, you're going to get two full-size uh, jokers which is nice it's nice to get two identical jokers with the deck and then you're going to get uh, a little ad card about the 1800 deck and let you know uh, a little bit more about the intentions about why uh, they designed it and then you're going to get a gaff card it's a queen of hearts but it has a red back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and that would come in handy for doing a color changing deck routine. As always, I wanted to steal the camera just for a second, give you a close up view of these cards and just kind of pan over some of them and just give you just that longer look that you might be wanting. And of course, you can use your own camera controls at any time to pause and take a longer and closer look. So if you want to see a close-up view of the back design and perhaps the uh, markings on this deck, I'm going to give you a really close look. So here's the marking for the Ace of Spades and the marking for the Ace of Clubs, the marking for the Ace of Diamonds, and the marking for the Ace of Hearts. And if you can't see it, it's not my fault. Well, that is pretty much it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you'd like to follow us on social media, we're at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy and twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.